Hello and welcome to Cursive Writing for All. Now, today we're going to go over our first letter, which is cursive letter capital A, as well as lowercase a. Uh, the first thing you need to do, however, is to get a pencil, as well as manuscript paper. Manuscript paper, uh, the type that you're looking for is the one that has the red line at the bottom, the blue line at the top, and the dotted blue line in the middle. This helps you to make your letters to scale. Okay, now, starting with capital cursive A. It's an easy letter, and you have to remember that it needs to have a slant. We want all of our cursive letters to slant. So it's not going to be a straight line that they're going to be uh, built on. You're going to use a slant. And what I mean by that is that as you make your letters, they all are going to have a slant from going, going to the right and slanting down to the left. Okay, so capital letter A starts right below the top solid blue line and you want to curve up to the solid blue line, going down at a slant, going down all the way to the red solid line, curving back up and meeting where you started the letter. Then you want to trace down past the solid or the dotted blue line, go back down to the solid red line and make your tail. Okay? Now, let's do that again. I want you to notice that this is an oval and not a circle. A circle looks like this. So we want to make our letters where they are using ovals instead of circles. Okay, it helps with the cursive look. So once again, your cursive capital A, you want to start right below the solid blue line, curve up to the solid blue line, come down at a slant, come all the way down to the solid red line, curve back up, meet where you started, connect, come down past the dotted blue line, you want to trace down past the dotted blue line, come down, I mean, yep, and then you go back up, you're tracing down the dotted blue line, going down to the solid red line, coming back up and stopping at the dotted blue line. This is called your tail. You want to make a tail because it helps you when you are connecting your letters later. Okay? Let's do that again. Starting right above the solid blue line, you want to curve up to the solid blue line, slanting down past the dotted blue line, all the way down to the solid red line. Curve back up, connect to where you started, trace back down your line, past the dotted blue line, all the way down to the solid red line, curve back up and stop at the dotted blue line. Okay? So, continue with this. You may stop the video if you want to continue on your own, or you can keep it going. But just make a few so that you can practice making your oval, connecting, curving, coming back up at a slant. Make sure you slant your tail. Make a few more. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to do our cursive lowercase a's. The difference between the cursive lowercase a's and the capital A's is just size. That's why you need the manuscript paper. It shows you the correct size for your lowercase as well as your capital letters. It's also based on a oval and a slant. 
So you do the same thing. It's just as half, half as big as the capital A. You start right below the dotted blue line this time. And you go, you uh, curve up slightly, curve down to the red line, meet where you started, come back down to the red line, curve back up and stop at the dotted blue line. Okay, let's watch that again. You want to start at the dotted blue line, right below the dotted blue line, curve all the way up to the dotted blue line, come down to the red line, go back up and connect where you started, trace back a little bit, just like we did with our capital A, curve back down to the red line and then come back up and stop at your dotted blue line. Okay, so those look just like our capital A's except for their half as big. Or the capital A is twice as large as the lowercase a. Make sure you make your oval. Okay, continue to do this. Practice making your lowercase a's. Are your letters slanting? Practice makes perfect. And the more you do it, the better you get. Now, The one good thing about a video is that you can rewind and go back to the beginning and listen to the instructions as many time as, times as you need to, okay? So today, we went over capital cursive A, and lowercase cursive A. Now that one to me looks a little bit more like a circle. So sometimes you're gonna have to correct yourself just like I just did to make it look more like an oval. A circle looks more like this and an oval would look more like this. Okay, so go on ahead and do practice for yourself. Continue to make your letters, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.